Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here today to look into these underwires that you find in ladies' bras. And obviously there's two of them. So here's one. The other one is in the water, floating on the water on a cork mat. And the reason why it's doing that is because all magnetic materials, when they're floated on top of water, will align to magnetic north. And this underwire has indeed done that, so it indicates that it's actually magnetized. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate the magnetic effect, I'm going to simply spin it around by 90 degrees and wait for it to stabilize. And now it's rotated round to 90 degrees, the magnetic field should pull it back around into alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. And the reason why this effect may actually be quite significant in the war on breast cancer is because magnetic fields, abnormal magnetic fields, have actually been shown in the electrical power industry to induce cancer and disease into people with long-term exposure. So, you know, this doesn't happen overnight. It takes years. In fact, sometimes it takes decades. But it's a very proven effect. And if you want to know how these effects are occurring, there's plenty of reports available online about the effect of power lines on human health, in particular magnetic fields. But the big thing that you find when you research magnetic fields is that the Earth's magnetic field is about half a milligauss. Well, the electrical power industry has found that anything over two milligauss is actually a cancer risk. And it's really not much of a difference. It's almost, it's very hard to detect it's so low. And uh, as such, it's very well established that magnetic fields do actually impact the health of biological cellular systems. And if your underwire bra is actually magnetized, or the metal in the bra is actually disturbing the Earth's natural magnetic field, you may actually find that there's a very similar effect as what's being observed around power lines taking place in women. And uh, for that reason, I, I don't actually recommend that people live near to power lines. And, uh, you know, I'm starting to wonder about these underwire bras. Uh, there's very, very definite literature, and there's lots of it available. In fact, there's several very good books available on the subject, and you'll find some of those book recommendations in Toxic Electricity. And as we can see, we have indeed spun round and realigned with the Earth's natural magnetic field. And what that does actually tells us that the underwire is actually a magnet. And so basically anybody who is wearing this particular underwire would actually be placing their breast into a magnetic field. And the effect is made much worse if you go into electromagnetic fields from like AC voltage cables, uh, electronics exhibits the effect, and uh, a lot of appliances exhibit the effect, particularly high-powered kitchen appliances. So that all just magnifies what we're watching right now. So it's a very interesting effect, and uh, I hope that some breast cancer researchers start paying attention to the effects that are going on with these metal underwires and the magnetic properties of them, and also the properties of them regarding radio waves, microwaves, and AC electrical fields. I think once they start paying attention to that, they may actually find that they may actually eventually win the war on breast cancer. So it's a very interesting effect, and I thought I would share it with you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.